So, welcome to the Downtown Fine Arts Center at our 2019 Eastern Music Camp Jazz Concert. I'm Rebecca Johnson. I'm the one you've all gotten emails from a lot of times. I'm the director of uh, Eastern's Music Camp. We have two assistant directors that also work really hard to make this happen all year, um, all year long, Dr. Danelle Larson and Dr. Anna Cromwell, and they've both been amazing. So. Um, I just want to acknowledge all of those people. Feel free to chat with us, find us after the concert. If you haven't already, please take the time to silence your phones. And uh, I wanted to just give you a little bit of information as we get started this year. EMC is a thriving camp. We have over 300 campers this year. It's um, quite a, several more than last year, but about 25 more than last year, in six different camps. Um, we did add musical theater this year, so it was a good new opportunity for campers. We employ nearly 60 faculty and staff for the week. Um, have an internship for college students that are interested in the administrative side of the arts and, you know, organizing big projects. And most importantly, hopefully, we provide a safe, healthy, and positive environment for the students to build on their musical skills while also enjoying interaction with their peers and EIU faculty. And EMC keeps growing. This is largely due to scholarships. This year there were more than $37,000 worth of scholarships from um, individuals, from the camp itself, and from community organizations. It's really amazing. I get to manually enter all of the information into the database, and each time I'm just floored by how much people are supporting camp for these students. It, there's a, a list in your program um, for the contributors, and I hope you'll look through that. Before we start, I want to take the time to um, thank a few people that make this performance possible. There are way too many to mention, um, and there, but there is a list of faculty in, and staff in the program that you can also look through. So first, I want to just thank all of the students. These, this group here on stage and the two you'll, you'll see later, they have worked really hard to put together a concert in one week and to build on all of their past skills, hopefully take themselves to a new level and be ready for you know, their next school year and that sort of thing. So they've really done a great job and put together a concert that I think you'll all enjoy. Um, second, I would like to thank Dr. Sam Fegley, who's the coordinator for the Jazz Camp and who you'll see on stage here in a moment. Um, he does a lot of work prior to the camp to make sure that we have staff to make sure everything is going to go as smoothly as possible and that um, it'll be a great week for all of the, the campers. And then last, I really want to thank all of you, the parents, the family members, your, the music educators of the students, um, for your support of music, for your support, of course, of the, the kids in your own family, but just making sure that everybody has this opportunity um, for growth. Your, your love and support of music and of the students is, is really important and it helps them um, develop skills and just have memories that will truly last a lifetime. So campers, will you please give your families a round of applause? <laughs> please save the dates for next year's camp, July 12th through 18th of 2020. That is in, also in your program. We'd love to see you again. On a logistical note, the photographer out there does have um, the photos that were pre-ordered. She also has a few extras. So if you'd like to, um, to meet with her afterwards, she has some really nice things for a very economical price. So at this time, I would like to welcome Dr. Sam Begley to the stage and enjoy the concert. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for being here. and Thanks for sharing your young folks with us this week. Um, we're gonna hear several groups today, three big bands and two combos, and we're gonna try to move through them from one to the next as quickly as we can with the transitions. But we're gonna start with this, um, what we've called the Green Band this year, and um, this band was, was directed by one of my best friends and, and most closest colleagues that I think I've ever worked with um, in directing the jazz program here at EIU. I, I just could not do it without this gentleman. He's, he does everything excellently. He does a lot of things. He teaches our one of our big bands, combo program, jazz piano, jazz arranging, and a number of other things as well. He's just great at all of it. He is a wonderful teacher and musician, and he's worked on great work with these folks this week. So please welcome to the stage, Paul Johnston.
everyone have recognized that traditional classic, When the Saints Go Marching In. Um, we heard on that from Paige Foster on guitar. And our set really just contains hit after hit. We're going to continue with a composition called Groovin' Cat. And as the band has pointed out this week, it's cat with a K, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Sit up here, I'll just note that these folks have learned this week, as, as if they hadn't already figured this out from home, is that all band directors have a sense of humor. And um, this piece was written by a band director, and you know how they say people talk with just a lot of mumbo jumbo. Well, this is a mambo, and so he called this piece Mambo Jumbo, which is probably typical of band director humor. <laughs> Hope you enjoy Mambo Jumbo.
We heard from a host of soloists on that. Uh, Randy back there in the trumpet section. Tristan on alto. Caleb on guitar. Lizzie on piano. Wyatt on the conga. And Jeremiah on the drum set. There is much music left to come, but we are going to conclude our portion of the program with um, something that you can kind of tap your, tap your foot to. This is animal control. <laughs> to have a wonderful staff of faculty that come back and teach this camp year after year. And this uh, gentleman who's been working with this group is just a great friend of mine and a great friend to the uh, Eastern Illinois University. He um, earned his bachelor's degree here, earned a master's and doctorate from the University of Illinois, was uh, the director of the jazz program at Illinois for a while, and he um, then went to teach his hometown, Belleville West, where he was the director of instrumental music. He retired from that a few years ago and um, is now teaching at Southwest Illinois College. And I can't understate just the quality of work this gentleman does and the quality of the person he is. So I know these kids have had a, a great time working with him in his band. And um, so please welcome Dr. Tom Berkner. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Um, we appreciate your attendance today. Uh, a little change in the program, most of you probably know that. Uh, once we programmed front burner, we couldn't play that later in the program. We had a, I think you're supposed to play that first. So we played front burner. That's what that was right there. Didn't seem right to play that later. Um, so that was Count Basie's front burner and uh, featured a number of soloists in the band. And we've had a, a, a lot of fun this week in putting this program together. And we appreciate your attendance. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, next we play... Right, Lou Bassa. This is by Kenny Dorham, uh, famous um, jazz standard, really for smaller groups. But this arrangement is for big band, and we hope you we hope you enjoy uh, Kenny Dorham's Blue Bassa.
Thank you very much. Uh, next, we feature uh, the, the uh, writing of uh, St. Louis native Oliver Nelson. Uh, this is um, a wonderful setting of a tune called Stolen Moments. We hope you enjoy it.
Before we play our final selection, we just want to thank uh, just a few people who make all this work. Uh, uh, lots of folks behind the scenes that, uh, from work crew to housing staff, counselors, uh, uh, individual teachers throughout the week that, that really give their heart and soul to all these students and it's it's a really a great experience. I've been working in camp for a long time and it's it's just the best. So uh, thanks for your support. Uh, we want to thank Rebecca Johnson who um, makes everything go here with all of the camps. She's the, uh, the coordinator of this event. And then um, within the jazz uh, area here, Sam Fagley, uh, uh, who you met earlier and you'll hear his band in just a minute here, and um, uh, Paul Johnson, they, uh, they're, they're terrific uh, musicians and great people and they're great uh, role models for your, for your young people. So thanks so much for sending them. All of the students were cooperative this week. We had a lot of, uh, a lot of fun and, and a lot of great experiences making music together and it's just a, just a great way to spend the week. So we appreciate your support of the camp. Uh, we'll close our portion of the program with Show me the way to go home. I told Sam earlier today, I mentioned it to Paul too, that we really missed the boat. I thought about it. We should have played, somebody should have played Fly Me to the Moon today, but we didn't do that, so I apologize. <laughs> if I didn't uh, recognize the compose uh, the arranger of that last tune show me the way to go home that was Alan Horney who uh, worked in this camp for many many years uh, taught trombone here ran the jazz program and uh, is always around in in, in, uh, in our in our hearts and here as we teach in the camp and it's always great to see him uh, we thank him for that yeah, yeah maybe that was more appropriate for the for the moonshot you know anyway because uh, my, I remember my dad always saying, we'd go on vacation, he said, and we'd pull in the drive as we're coming home. He'd say, it's always nice to go somewhere, but it's always nicer to come home. So that's Show Me the Way to Go Home. We'll play that for the astronauts. Thanks a lot.
Well, good afternoon. Usually, I come right out and count off the first tune and then, then talk to the audience, but uh, we have a couple folks who need to retrieve their music, or at least one, so I'll say hello. And uh, once again, we're very um, grateful for you sharing these young folks with us this week. It's been a real ball to, to uh, work with them. And I want to thank um, Dr. Rebecca Johnson, who is a camp director and, and spearheaded this whole thing. And, and as she said, there's too many others to try to go down a list and thank all of the folks who put this together and make it possible. But I just want to really um, express my appreciation to them all. And um, <laughs> let's see what else. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna play a few things for you here. And to wrap up the concert, we've got a, a nice variety of uh, pieces, a couple that have feature soloists and um, Sure we're going to enjoy that. Oh, I guess I can take this moment too to say that I thought long and hard to find some way to connect something about the camp or the music we're playing to something that I'm very excited about, the 50th anniversary of the first moon landing, and I couldn't find anything, so I'm glad that Tom Berkner at least connected it to Show Me the Way to Go Home, and I'm glad they all got home. So we're going to start with um, a tune called Out of Nowhere. Jacob Hines on trombone. And August Frisbee on alto saxophone. 
And we're going to hear from August once again at, at uh, a little more length this time, and we're going to feature him on this beautiful Duke Ellington piece called Sophisticated Lady. And this is an arrangement by Dave Wolby, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Just kidding. Now, this is, we're going to feature Jacob on this next piece, on this um, great old Kurt Vile and Ogden Nash tune called uh, Speak Low. And um, very, very pleased to feature Jacob here. He's been to camp many years, and he has just graduated high school, and we're proud to say he's going to be attending EIU in the fall as one of our new jazz majors. So, we're, yeah. Jacob Hines, it's fun to speak low.
there are several awards that we like to acknowledge some folks with at the end of the week. And they had to do with some folks that have been return campers over, over several years. And we have um, some certificates and plaques and things for them. Um, so we'll start with that. And the first one we're going to acknowledge here is a person who's been back to camp five times. This is their fifth year. So we'd like to acknowledge and give a certificate to Delcy Robinson. People who've been back, and this happens to be their sixth year at camp, we've got a plaque. And the first one we'd like to acknowledge with that is Luke Halford. And the next one we'd like to acknowledge with a six-year Return Camper Award is Jacob Hines. When we have someone who's um, in their Last year, he's just graduated high school and they can still eligible to come back to camp. Whenever we have someone like that who happens to be coming to EIU in the fall, we have a little gift bag for them. This is for you, Jacob. Congratulations again. It's yours, anywhere you like. I'm not sure what all's in there, but I bet it, most of it's blue and gray. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. And finally, we have one, one last award. And um, I'm asked to, each camp coordinator is asked by the camp director to name someone as the outstanding camper for the week. And that's really tough because, as I told the group, I really have thoroughly enjoyed working with each and every one of these folks. And, it may sound cliche and, and something is just say every year, but it, I really do. And I wouldn't be, keep doing this as long as I have if I didn't enjoy it. But these have been great students to work with. They've all been very receptive and um, just done everything we've asked them to do. And I, I think it seemed like they've enjoyed it and learned some things, and, and that's the whole idea. But I am asked to, to name an outstanding camper. And that person gets a certificate and also a scholarship to come back to camp next year if they wish. So, and when, when forced to have to name one name, I thought about the person who has been, thought about the person who's been working very hard all week, they all have, but this person has really been um, given a special challenge. There's one chair in the band that probably requires the most diverse um, work, and if it's not done very well, it affects everything that the band does. And that is our drummer. So we'd like to award Jackson Kirkland the outstanding. Yeah. selection here and this is an exciting one, fun one, and it's written by Dizzy Gillespie and Kenny Clark, I believe we're co-wrote this with him, and this is a nice arrangement by Mark Taylor of Salt Peanuts. And uh, this features Isaac Hansen on alto, who we haven't heard from yet with a big band, and also Nick O'Brien, also on trumpet, as well as Keaton Yarber on guitar. So thanks again for sharing these folks with us, and we hope you'll send them back next year, and uh, hope you enjoy Salt Peanuts.
be remiss if I didn't do one more thing. I forgot to acknowledge the fellow who's helping us out, sitting in on the one empty chair we had in our personnel on trombone, John Wingerski, a, a recent graduate. So thank you again, hope you have a safe trip, and hope to see you next year.